While Vanessa is getting ready, I'd like, if I may, to, to get something off my chest. Um, I don't particularly want to raise this topic tonight, but uh, it is the elephant in the room, isn't it? Um, the New Year's honours list is out, and I'm not on it. <laughs> now, it, it's, it's not that big a deal to me, you know. I don't even know what you have to do to get one. But people just kept coming up to me today saying, Sean, it's outrageous that you did not receive an OBE or a knighthood this year. <laughs> and uh, while it's true, I, I haven't thought about it that much, when you do think about it and realise that Kylie Minogue, Reg Grundy and even Paul Clitheroe have received some sort of official <laughs> honour, I see where these people are coming from. All right? and may, maybe I have been harshly treated. Maybe it is grossly unfair. Anyway, I'm uncomfortable you know, talking about it and I'm certainly not going to waste your time sitting here blowing my own horn. But someone who, who does feel pretty strongly about it is 11-year-old Tom Parry. Tom? earlier this year and had to spend four weeks in hospital. Sean McAuliffe visited me every day and bought me a Subway and a Pepsi. He even drove Mum home every day. Sometimes he would even drive her in again in the morning. Governor General Quentin Bryce of the Queen, I think you should give Mr McAuliffe a New Year's honour. Otherwise, I think you should resign. Mr McAuliffe, thanks for getting me the new bike and I hope the back of your car is all fixed now. Terrific. Thanks very much, Tom. And Tom also thinks we should have some sort of Twitter campaign. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, here's the tag you can use if you want to get behind remedying this injustice. <laughs> there it is there. But now, someone who deserves all the plaudits and awards she gets. I give you... Would you like to read her name? Um, Miss Venena... Vanessa... Mm, um, Amorosi. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Miss Vanessa Amorosi!